Wouldn't it be weird if everyone ate the same thing around the world? Well, we'd never get to know. The crazy thing is that while some delicacies might be acceptable, delicious, and mind-blowing for some, they might raise eyebrows, spark reactions, or even be unacceptable to others, especially in July, a season of festivities, cultural displays, and great fun, which also opens up time to explore some of these intriguing delicacies that might be unusual to some people, but unique to its location. Today, we will dive into learning about some of the strange foods of July and exploring the bizarre and unusual foods that people eat. So sit tight as we unravel some strange foods of July, exploring what people eat around the world. Number one, hot dogs. Hot dogs are made of grilled or boiled sausage and served on a partially sliced bun. They are made from varieties of meats like chicken, beef frankfurter, turkey, or lamb. The origin of this July food is traced back to Germany, where it was first mentioned in 1484 in a cookbook. Hot dogs are eaten mostly by Americans as it is part of their Independence Day celebration food. There is an estimated amount of 15,000 hot dog stands in the United States, and about 20 billion hot dogs are consumed annually. There are different varieties of hot dogs which include the Chicago hot dog, the California hot dogs, and Sonoran hot dogs, among others. And if you're wondering how you could prepare it, it's pretty simple. Number two taught fried okra and honey. This food combo sure sounds weird, but is unique to its location. Okra is the king of summer vegetables in lots of countries. A thickening agent in stew, gumbo, or soup, which has a great taste. To prepare it, smash the okra pods from the top to the pod, then make two or three incisions using a knife. In one dish, place buttermilk, and in another dish, place the cornmeal. Add the desired quantity of salt and pepper into the buttermilk cornmeal and stir religiously. Ensure you add a little salt and pepper to the okra too. After that, dip the okra in the buttermilk, then in the cornmeal. Heat your oil to 3500F and fry for about two to three minutes or until crispy. After frying, Remove the okra, drain with a paper towel, and serve with honey. People who had tasted it gave an assurance of a great test, so it's worth the try. Number three, fried tarantulas. The tarantulas are hairy, vicious, and poisonous creatures when alive, but a great food and delicious snack when fried. This fried spider is a delicious snack for Cambodians. The origin of this snack is unknown, but people think the Cambodians started eating spiders out of desperation during the rule of the Khmer Rouge, when there was famine. In 2002, the snack cost about $0.008. The taste of this delicacy has been described as bland with a texture from an enticing crispy exterior to a soft abdomen. A delicious white meat is found in the head, while the legs contain a little flesh. Eating spiders might sound weird, well, have you heard of a particular place in South Africa where people eat worms? Number four, dot Mopene worms. The Mopene worms can be found in Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and the Southern African regions. The Mopene worms, which are also called Gonimbrasia balina, or Mopene caterpillars, live in the Mopene tree, where they lay eggs on the leaves. Once the worms are ripe for picking, it is opened at one end to remove a mass of half-digested leaves that it must have fed on. The empty body of the worm is either smoked, dried, or fried, depending on the individual's preferences. The Mopene worm is an easily obtainable and very cheap source of protein for most people in rural villages in South Africa. It is said to contain about three times as much protein as beef. Shocking, right? Interestingly, the worms are also exported to other European countries. Number 5. Dot fugu Fish There are about 20 to 40 cases of poisoning annually in Japan caused by the fugu fish, but it is somehow edible. Fugu is the world's most dangerous and expensive fish. It is called fugu by the Japanese, and the Australians call it the puffer fish or the blowfish. Unlike in Japan, the fugu fish is considered illegal in most parts of the world because of its poisonous attributes. There are about 3,800 fugu restaurants in Japan. This highly toxic fish has over a hundred types worldwide. 
chefs who prepare the fugu must be at least 20 years old, and they must be trained. Tokyo's city government is planning to ease restrictions that allow only trained chefs to serve the dish. Since 2000, about 23 people have died in Japan as a result of fugu poisoning. According to the Fugu Research Institute, 50% of victims were poisoned by the liver, 43% from the ovaries, and about 7% from the skin. Number 6. The Kasu Marzu How interesting is it to find out that people eat maggot-infested food? This might be bizarre to others, but unique to Sardinian culture. The Kasu Marzu originated on the Italian island of Sardinia. Though the process is easy, the delicacy takes at least a few months to make. The Kasu Marzu cheese is made with sheep milk. The taste of this cheese is described to be spicy, pungent, sharp, intense, and peppery, while some describe the taste as that of a ripe gorgonzola. Number 7. The Balut The Balut is sold as street fruit mostly in Vietnam, Philippines, and Cambodia. It is a boiled or steamed fertilized egg embryo that is eaten from the shell. Though the length of incubation before it is cooked differs between people, it generally ranges between 14 to 21 days. Balut is also recognized as the national food of the Philippines, sold as a street food and served as an appetizer in restaurants. The Philippines eat walnut with garlic and vinegar mixture, salt or chili depending on preferences. Balnut is served slightly cooked in some locations, and this is dangerous since it increases the chances of ingesting some microorganisms into the body. From unconventional ingredients to different preparation methods, these delicacies showcase amazing diverse dishes around the world. While some may seem unappetizing, they are unique to its people and location and are even part of the cultural heritage and traditions of its location. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you in our next video.